In this issue of Real Magic Magazine, John Lovick gets a tour of Master Illusion designer John Gaughan's workshop. John, over here, this is a, a reproduction of Robert Houdin's orange tree. And as you can see, it's no, not that big, but uh, you borrow a handkerchief and you borrow a ring and uh, maybe a dollar bill and um, put them all together and uh, the flowers would slowly grow and then finally the oranges grow on the tree. And they're proven to be real oranges. You just take them off and throw them in the audience. And then finally this orange breaks in two and the butterflies pull the borrowed handkerchief and ring out. And, and there are, their wings flap. Yeah, they, they're all... They uh -huh. So is, this is one you built? Yes, it uh -huh. is. Uh -huh. Do uh, uh, some of Robert Houdin's pieces uh, survived? Does any of his orange trees exist Well, I, I do have an original orange tree over here, but uh, we have no idea who it belonged to. Uh -huh. There's, I think there's three orange trees that, that in the magic world that we know about. And uh, so they're all, they're all kind of crude, really, but uh, they must have been very po poetic. Yeah. to tell a story like that. Yeah. So this orange tree is actually one that uh, belonged to or was built by Robert Herdan, correct? Well, this is an orange tree from that period. Okay. I mean, it's not signed and we don't, we don't know. Uh, but uh, naturally, you, you think it could be. Uh -huh. But what is really uh, amazing, it works with pistons, as I was showing you earlier, that come out of the table and integrate into the bottom here. Oh, uh -huh. And uh, the, the butterflies are clockwork. Uh, here's this little clockwork mechanism. So look at that mechanism. Isn't that beautiful? Wow. Doc Eason teaches Cosmo a clever trick with two corks. Cos, the idea is very simple. You hold the corks in the crotch Pardon the expression, of my thumbs, just like so. Okay? And all you do then is to turn your hands like so, and then put them together, grab the corks, and then take them apart. Very simple. Kainoa Harbottle shares a vanish from perhaps his most important book on magic, his notebook. Garrett Thomas discusses the importance of procedures to the construction of your tricks. And Bill Wish shows us Slidini's fork routine. Of course, we've got three tricks to teach you, including a real magic exclusive, Jeff Brace's Light Flight. Gimmick included. Perfect. So I got a lighter. And does anyone else have a lighter that I can borrow? Yeah, I got one. You got one? Awesome. I will take that. Perfect. So now we have uh, some lighters. Do you know how you know these are big lighters? It says big. It's smart. <laughs> um, we're going to try this. Nate, can you hold out your hand flat? Um, I'm going to give you the lighter, squeeze it as tight as you can, and we're going to use this one. Now, each big lo or lighter has two logos, one that's closest to the floor and one that's closest to the sky. Can you pick one? Uh, the sky. The sky. Watch that logo right here with a totally empty hand. So I come over here, and I just pop it out. So now there's just one. <laughs> and watch, I just throw it towards Nate. Slowly open your hand. Oh, 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 and three great moves from Jeff Copeland, Scott Robinson, and Ryan Schlutt. Have you done an ambitious sequence? This is another sequence for, there's so many out there, but here's one out another one. So you can put it in the middle, you can then show it in the middle, and as you come down, you can then instantly bring it back to the top, like that. All this and much, much more. On DVD or on demand, it's the best deal in magic today. Real Magic Magazine, it's television for magicians.